try to play it, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me One hundred push-ups in four minutes. It's an old challenge that I came up with in 1999. And originally it was designed for my clients back then to help them reach the goal of 100 push-ups. I used this uh, method also for other exercises, but originally it was intended for push-ups. Now, admittedly, when I came up with this challenge, the rules for the challenge were not as strictly defined as I'll show you today. As everything, you know, over time you evolve and improve, and I also improved this challenge. The thing with push-ups is that until you agree with someone else that you want to compare with, what counts as a push-up, like one rep, you don't really know how many the other guy can do. For example, usually when I would talk with someone like, how many push-ups can you do? And they would just come up with a number, like, let's say 20 or 40 or 100. But we don't really know what it means because he maybe did like very short partial reps and, you know, it's a different pace and the quality of execution is just not there. So we have to agree this counts as a push up, one rep or not. Everyone has their own idea what a push up is, especially when it comes to range of motion, like how, how low you need to go when it's fully extended, like until you record yourself, you don't really know how you perform them. Sometimes in your head, you think I fully extended my elbows and I really went low enough only to find out when you watch yourself on the video, oh, <laughs> this doesn't look okay. So I wanted to show you like, this is really a perfect execution. There is no fault to it, you know. You cannot come up with a better execution for a push-up than what will be shown. I will demonstrate this challenge with the help of my friend, Sergey. And another thing, he didn't actually train for this challenge. He didn't even know about it because when I asked him if we can do it, he said yes and agreed up front without knowing what he signed up for. Anyway, it's always easier to just show the video, right? So let me play this. This is Sergey, and he will demonstrate perfect form push-ups for us. He will be doing it with the help of a metronome. I set the, the, the pace at one rep every two seconds. He cannot go faster and he cannot go slower. And now this is really hard. Plus note, He's touching the board the way down and fully extending his elbows. And his posture is perfect. He just cannot find anything wrong or fault or to improve in this push-up. This is just perfect strict form, which is combined with being paced, not being allowed to go at your own pace very hard. Trust me, you may think you'll be able to do much more than you would actually do once you try it like this. So what he's doing now is he's listening to a metronome and one rep per two seconds is the same pace as if you would listen to up, down, up, down, up, down. It's easy to get in your head. So basically once you do the first few reps, you have it, right? You just have to keep going. And he has to do a full set for as long as he can until he cannot hold the pace no longer. So if, would have, if he would have to slow down, like now, he would stop. And he stopped at repetition number 40, and he will now have a full minute of rest. If you noticed, when he stopped his set, he pressed start on his stopwatch. And now the time is running. And once the time reaches first minute, so one, zero, zero, he has to start a new set. And then the same thing happens on minute number two, three, and four. So you have those four minutes. So each of those 
four minutes, he has to start a new set. And in between, if there is some time to rest, he can use it. Now, after this first set of 40, in his case 40, he had a full minute. But now, after this one, he will not have a full minute anymore. It's now when he starts, which will be now. So his first minute started and it's one minute means the time he will need to, for push-ups is how much rest he'll get. Now, I know in advance that he will do 20, which means if he, he did one rep every two seconds, it's 40 seconds he spent for those push-ups, meaning he will only have 20 seconds of rest until the start of his next set. So he'll finish this at one minute 40 and he'll have to start his next set at 2.00, which is a problem because he did 40 and then 20. So he is now at, at rep 60, but the rest was so short that he'll now have a problem. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and he would be falling off the pace. So he did 40, 20, and now only nine. But because he did only nine, he spent 18 seconds for those nine, which means he now has a bit more rest until his next set. So he has now uh, 42 seconds, but time goes fast. So once his stopwatch reaches 3.00, he will start his penultimate set, which is now. And it's hard, you know, to do a lot of such strict form push-ups once you already did as many as he did. So you would expect he'll just pump it up. No, he is not allowed to, you know, because it's metronome paced. It's one rep every two seconds. And when we were filming this, I was just so focused on how he was doing it. And I was not really communicating with him at which rep he is. So he had no idea and neither did I how many he did. I had to count all those reps afterwards. And here's the crazy thing, you know, so he, he'll, he's now resting. And once he reaches that final fourth minute, I said, look, you can now go at any speed you want, you know, and do as many reps as you can. And those last like one or two reps, I told him, you know, just do one or two extra, who knows, you know, maybe those one or two will be missing to reach 100. And <laughs> Arany wanted it, that once I added all those reps up, you know, he got to 97. So it's, oh man, you know, it's like he, he, he fell short by three, by three reps. And if he would knew ahead, I think with a bit of better pacing, he would be able to do those 100. Plus note, he was not really, uh, he never did this before. You know, I surprised him. I said, let's do this. And it's not like he was fully fresh yesterday. He did a good strong session when he also did some pressing and all that. But I'm really proud of him because you cannot really demonstrate a better set execution based, you know, everything as he did. So we need to have give him credit for this and Sergey, thank you. And uh, yeah, so this is the challenge, how to reach 100 push-ups in four minutes. We almost got it, you know. I am pretty certain if we were to do it again, like the next day, and now that he knew how to do it, you know, how the rules are and all that, he would have a better strategy getting into it and he would do it. Still, let, let us summarize one set as many reps as you can do then press your stopwatch and on the minute one 
two, three, and four, you have to start your new set. The catch is you can not go faster nor slower than one repetition each two seconds, meaning that you are not allowed to do more than 30 reps per minute. This is really the tricky part, you know, because if I were to allow you to do just like sprint through it, you know, it would be another story. Plus, remember, you have to like go really deep, you know, touch, um, touch the, the board with your chest and fully extend your elbows. So saying you have to do like um, one rep each two seconds, it's kind of like a perfect pace to kind to kind of really show the, the form. You, you cannot like really go much, much faster with such clean form. I mean, it just, anyway. So try it, you know, it's a lot harder than it looks, but then again, it's an awesome strategy how to train this 100 rep goal. Now, obviously, if you were able to do like 100 reps, like at once, you know, this would be the greatest, right? But it's always how you do it, you know? If I were just say, okay, do 100 reps and you are not watching the form, the range of motion, the pace and all that, we cannot really compare. So you may have a friend who will do like, like, I don't know, 200, but then we will look at his range and he just goes really short, doesn't fully extend the elbows or doesn't go fully down, you know, and he just like, does a few reps, then he rests like five seconds in between each and, you know, he just somehow adds up. It's not really the same, you know. So the challenge here is not how to do 100 push-ups in one go, but how to accumulate 100 perfect push-ups in four minutes plus that first set at paced, execution, perfect form, like, you know. That board that we used, I basically call it a push-up board and you can make your own. It's just five centimeters from the floor. And this is the same height as the alternative that I'm showing. So here you can see if you use a bumper plate, it's 15 kilograms bumper plate, and then just add two dumbbells next to it. And that bumper is the same height as my board. And if you're gonna use those dumbbells and uh, you can do exactly the same challenge as we did it on the board. So yeah, you can either use the board or dumbbells with a bumper. If you want to know how to get better, stronger and improve so that you would be able to do those 100 reps in four minutes, watch my next video. There is an easier version of this challenge and some tips, hacks and simple solutions how to train to improve.